If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. If tracking inventory, you can manually adjust the quantity on hand. This is helpful if there is spoilage, damage, or any event that changes the inventory amount outside of regular purchases and sales. To manually adjust the quantity on hand of an inventory item, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Products and Services link under the list's heading in the drop-down menu to open the Products and Services page. In the list of products, edit the item for which to adjust the inventory on hand by either double-clicking it or clicking its Edit link in its Action column to open the item's Product Service Information pane. To the right of the Quantity on Hand label is the item's current quantity on hand. Below the Quantity on Hand label is an Adjust label with a Quantity and a Starting Value link. To adjust the quantity on hand, click the Quantity link to open an Inventory Quantity Adjustment window. In this window, enter the date of the adjustment into the Adjustment Date field. The Reference Number field should automatically increment itself up to the next available integer, but you can also manually enter a value into this field if required. If needed, use the Inventory Adjustment Account drop-down to select the correct account affected by the inventory adjustment. In the Line Item section, the inventory item you selected appears. You can either enter the new quantity into the new quantity field or enter the difference between the quantity on hand and the new quantity into the change in quantity field. If you use the change in quantity field to note a loss of items, enter the change as a negative number. However, also note that you only need to perform data entry within one of these fields as the other automatically recalculates based on the value you enter into the other. In the Memo field, enter the reason for the quantity adjustment. If you have classes and locations enabled, you can also use the Class column and the Location drop-down to classify this transaction as needed. When finished, click the Save and Close button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window to save the change and close the window. If needed, you can also adjust the starting values for inventory items. Please note that changing an inventory item's starting value can have repercussions across many accounts. If you are not sure of what to do, it is best to consult your accountant before making any changes. To change the starting value of an inventory item in the Products and Services page, edit the item for which to adjust the inventory on hand by either double-clicking it or clicking its Edit link in its Action column to open the item's Product Service Information pane. This time, Click the Starting Value link under the Quantity on Hand label and to the right of the Adjust label to open a warning message box. Read the message and click the Got It button if you want to continue. In the Inventory Starting Value window that opens, enter the correct Initial Quantity on Hand of the item into the Initial Quantity on Hand field. Enter the date as of which that starting inventory is correct into the As of Date field. Enter the initial cost into the Initial Cost field. Then use the Inventory Adjustment Account drop-down to select the correct account used to balance the Inventory Asset account. If you are unsure, check with your accountant. The Memo field contains a default Memo field value and you can change it, if desired, to note the reason for the adjustment in more detail. If you have classes and locations enabled, you can also use the class and location drop-down to classify this transaction if needed. You can enter a different reference number or code into the Reference Number field if you want to change its default value. When finished, click the Save and Close button to enter the starting value adjustment for the inventory item and its related accounts. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.